Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we've got, uh, well, we've got to tend to the animals, folks. I know. You guys probably think that's how you pretty much start every video. That's what happens. We have animals. You gotta take care of them. We've got three goats over here that need, need attending, and you guys get the idea. We do have a few things for the goats, but before we get started, boom. I know I didn't just flash you. I mean, I kind of did, but this new Guggen Squad camo hoodie and a whole bunch of other things, as you guys saw in the pre-roll ad, is launching November 12th. Tons of new Guggen gear. November 12th is when everything drops, including this hoodie and a bunch of hats. I mean, it's the biggest drop we've done ever. The sickest merch. We worked super, super hard on it, and it's coming November 12th. And every single purchase that you make is one entry to winning a fishing trip with the Guggen Squad. If you guys pick up five hoodies, you get five entries to win a chance to fish with the whole Guggen Squad. So there's that. It'll be linked down below, but it's November 12th is when it starts. So mark your calendars, and you guys get ready. This right here. These are tires. New tires, old tires. New tires, old tires. Yes, got new tires. Finally, isn't it nice to have new tires, Bonzo? Nope, we'll bon it, we don't, we won't get stuck anymore. We got, we got some BFG beef all cakes. terrains, dude. Can we talk about beefcake? Beefcakes, right there. We have absolute beefcakes. My truck kept getting stuck because I just have highway tires, which are great for a highway, but I don't live on a freaking highway, and I kept getting stuck. Actually, right over there is where I got stuck constantly right through there i got new tires bf goodrich all terrains ko2s they'll be linked down below if you guys want to go try them out this is like the tire that i've had on every single truck all my trucks that i've had these are the tires and i've never gotten stuck with them knock on wood what i am going to do the reason i'm showing you guys is because these tires the old tires that came with my truck and we figured the goats might enjoy them unless they start eating them and in that case they're gonna die but let's hope they don't eat them we figure we can stack them up and they can jump on them and i mean what else am i gonna do with them? it's either that or throw them in the brute bakery which all you guys freaked out when i threw tires in the other brute bakery i guess i put them in my pond but you guys get the idea so what do you think you think they're gonna eat them i think they'll play with them we should like stick bonzo in this one and roll them down the hill you know no, that'd be probably not. It'd be kind of funny i don't know i feel like if you stack two they might jump on it. Or you could like put like four on the ground and they could do like the tire races like you do in football, like training, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeet. Oh, John. Oh, gonna, God. oh God, rip. All right, all right, goats, we're coming. We got new toys for you. I know, what's up? It's been a minute. How you guys doing, huh? What's up, buddy? What's up? All right, you guys don't get to come out quite yet, all right? We gotta, we gotta put these things in here for you. This is for your own good. Just don't eat them, please. Watch out. Sick. Watch out. Ooh. There you go. Ready? Fire away, Bonzo. Perfect. Honestly, the strat would be like to piece, put a piece of plywood on top of them too. Do two and two, and let's go find a piece of wood in the shop yeah. and just lay it on top. And that way they can kind of just bounce. Let's do that. Got it? Yep. <laughs> That's better. Now they can't use it to jump out. Look at them. They can go under it. And Sheesh. There you go. Dude, they love it. Look at it. I know. You're welcome. <laughs> we got you a new playground. Tires and a piece of plywood. That's all you need in life. That's all you need in life. Tires and plywood. All right, goats. We'll be back. Alrighty, goats are taken care of. We gave them a whole new little playground. They love it, look at them. Tires and piece of plywood, they're all over it. Anyways, goats are taken care of. We gotta take care of the chickens and the ducks and all that fun stuff. Well folks, just like we got some new things for the goats, we got some new things for the chickens too. We've got a whole box sent by Premier One Supplies. They'll be linked down below if you guys wanna go check them out. It's the plug for all things homestead farming, animals, stuff like that. It's where we get the permanent fence. That's actually what this thing is here. Right here, this is another permanent, which is the thing that's around the chicken coop. We got another one. We're not gonna set that up today, but we will set it up soon. Um, anyways, we're gonna rip through here to see what the chickens got and the ducks. Scoops, Bonzo. That way when you're feeding, you know how we're lugging a big bag oh, around? that's nice. It's a turbo scoop. And we got three different sizes for goats, and we got little chickens. So that way, when you need some food, you just stick it in there, and you're done. And it's, it's just, it's quick, it's a turbo scoop. So, we got that. Then, look at these, feeding tubs for all sorts of animals. For the goats, nice. for any future animals, stuff like that. These are big, rubber, durable pans. And this is the new toy, I wouldn't say toy, but new thing for the chickens in particular. <laughs> Boom! An automatic feeder for the chickens. Now you guys are thinking, well you already do have automatic feeder. This is like a legit automatic feeder. This thing sticks out like this, and the chickens step on this, and it releases food. They have to step on it. 
That way it can't get any water in it and then it has a lid so they can't poop in it because right now I've got a tile and like some I don't even know what type of painting material or something that yeah. covers it. Basically, this is just an all-in-one. It covers it and the animals step on this. It's like a weight thing where they step on it and it releases food for them. It'd be a lot easier to keep the food dry and keep stuff out of it and stuff like that. So we got that for the chickens. Yeah, that's pretty much it. What's up, peacocks? How's it going, peacocks? Oh yeah, dude, they've, they've almost eaten all their food and I've already had to fill up their water once. So, oh, oh, oh chill, oh, right chill, the head. chill. Jumping on each other, but We've, we still, they've been in here for about a week, okay? We've given them food and water. I know you guys are thinking they're, you know, all confined and stuff, but the thing about the peacocks, if you guys didn't see the video when we bought these, is they basically can just fly away, okay? And that's not what we want. We want them to know that this is where their food is and this is where their water is. Now, they look like they still want to fly away. <laughs> and um, I guess a little bit later, you guys are going to see, I think, okay, here, I'm going to get into it right now, okay? I wanted to big, build a huge giant animal enclosure. Not me, Bill, I wanted to hire an actual company to do it, because I wanted it done the right way. I wanted it to look really, really good. The problem is, is they're like three weeks out, and starting tomorrow, it's gonna be below freezing. Like right now, it's like 45 degrees. Tomorrow's gonna be like 32, and then the lows are like in the 16s and stuff like that, 16s? The teens, it's gonna be 16 degrees. Once it freezes, you can't really put a fence up because you can't really drill the stakes in. Long story short, today, we're gonna go to the store and try to build a giant animal enclosure. And once we're done with that, we're gonna let these guys free, and hopefully they stay here, and we'll keep their food and water and everything. They might fly away, we're not really sure, but we gotta keep, we, gotta, we still need to feed the chickens, we need to still get them water. Just checking on these guys, but that's essentially what today's plan is gonna be. Kinda of had to call an audible today. We gotta to build a giant animal enclosure. Like the finale animal enclosure that's gonna have all the animals that we're gonna get pretty soon here. You guys will see that. And uh, anyways, peacocks are good for now. You have to stay tuned to the end of the video, see if they fly away. But for now, let's get water. Dude, they, how do gross. they make such a mess? This was in one day. I don't understand why they make such a freaking mess. Good enough, fill her up. Well, that worked, I just got these. I figured, hey, that'd be easier than dragging the sled around and dumping it. Five gallon water jug, five gallons a day is basically what it is. Fill it up, stuff for them to drink, swim around, kind of do their thing. Clean it out every day, five gallons, not bad. Move, chickens. Come on, chickens. We're going free range today. That'll get them to scratch, hopefully, in this tall grass here. Before winter, I'm gonna try to stop relying solely on the automatic feeder and start kind of throwing it out there to let them scratch around once it starts snowing and stuff. That one, we'll have to stop doing that, but chickens are fed. I almost forgot the snacks. We can't leave without giving them snacks. Come here, Quacky Chan. Damn! It's quacky! Hey, quit fighting with the chickens. Yeah, Hennifer Lopez. You just relax. I just saw that. Came around the corner and they were straight boxing each other. Hey, Quacky, here, you wanna feed you wanna feed Quacky? I'll, feed quacky. I'll try to distract the chickens. Come here, chickens. Get yourself some quack snacks. There you go, chickens. You got a combination of mealworms and food. All in this tall grass. That should last them at least today, even maybe even tomorrow. It's good for them to kind of scratch up, get worms and stuff. If you guys noticed in one of the other videos, we moved our perma fence around. It was going this way, now it's going this way. That way they got this tall, fresh grass right here. They're shredding it up right now. Okay, okay, okay. I know what you guys are thinking. You know, just relax with the animals. Let's see what the, the whole video is about. This is what the video is about, like I said, the whole enclosure. But we've got the ducks trailer. We've got a back blade for the tractor. We got some shelves and we got some other miscellaneous stuff over here that we need to move out of the way. And then we got to somehow measure. I mean, we're planning on going from here to the gate over, back, and around. I mean, this is like, how many yards do you think that is, Bonzo? You think that's like... 60. I was gonna say 60. At least 60. 60, 75 yard. I mean, it's a, it's almost a football field. Not quite. I would say this whole thing's probably a football field. So maybe like 70. Maybe like a half of a football field or three quarters and, and a half or something. You guys get the point. We need to move all this stuff. Bonzo, help me move this. Get your ass over here. I'll get the shell so you get the blade. Well, now comes the moment of truth. We've got everything moved. The animal closure's already there. Now it's time to measure. This is when getting a college degree pays off. Thank God we didn't get it. 
Hell yeah, brother. Right on, brother. Um, we're gonna do our best here to try to measure out the space just to give us a general idea. I'll probably end up buying like five sheets of cattle pen, cattle panel, uh, more than I need just to be safe. But me and Bonzo, we're gonna try to measure this sucker out. You guys stay tuned. How many we need, Professor? 40. 40. Yeah. We count 35, but yeah, we're gonna we'll get 40. Couple extras. Yeah, we'll get probably 38 to 40 ish. So, how many T posts is that? I would, I mean, you definitely have to have at least one in the middle. I mean, I think they recommend two. Wow, this is gonna take a long time, boys. 40. Good thing there's only three of us. Yeah, there's only three of us. Slayman, Slayman decided to go on vacay, so I'm just kidding. I'm really debating, I'm debating this now, making it this big. I wanted this big, but like, dude, that's gonna take all that. We'll be, we'll be all right. I wanted to do this whole pasture for them. And we don't have to, I just wanna get it done. You know, it's just like, if we keep adding animals, we're gonna need space, that's the only problem. So if we, okay, so let's say we did 40. Well, we use 10 on there. Let's count the T-posts on this one, and we'll see how many, we can, we'll get a rough estimate that way. Shoo! Well, we made it to my favorite store, Tractor Supply. Wait, I need my wall. Okay, I got my wall, but we've kind of, we, we figured it out. I know we said we were gonna go count things. We counted, okay? We're thinking we need, for doing 40 cattle panels, we're doing 80 T-posts. But then we started to think, well, cattle panel, the problem with that is the holes are so big, if we do end up getting some smaller goats with little horns, they get their head stuck. And then we're gonna have to wrap the whole thing in chicken wire. And then we're just gonna waste our time. So your option is getting woven wire fencing with like a four inch, gap thing but that requires stretching the fence which we don't know how to do we don't really know how to do it and the, the thing about stretching fences you kind of want to do it the right way so it's nice and tight and basically we're not sure what we're going to end up doing we're going to buy everything for woven wire fencing and everything for the t posts and drivers and all that fun stuff but i'm not sure exactly what we're going to end up being able to do today the goal today is just to at least at the very very least get the t posts in the ground because you can only stretch wire after the fact even when it's snowing and it's cold you can still stretch wire putting t posts in the ground after it freezes is going to be a little bit tough so time to buy some t posts and fencing and wire and drivers and all that fun stuff. You guys stay tuned. What are we after today, guys? Some fencing stuff. So is this four, it's four by four sheep? How much, how many feet is that? 200 feet. And how much is it? $264. So we're gonna spend like $800 on fencing. Wait, no, that's not, wait, hang on. That's, 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 that's horse fence. This is, okay, it's still 260. 300, thank God. So you only need two I only need two of them. That's only like a little 500 bucks. I thought we were about to go real deep in this. So if we got five and a half, yeah, you're right. You probably go about six inches in the ground. You'd still have about a foot, yeah. which would be enough to run at least a hot wire up top for sure. Maybe even two. All right. So what we're going to end up going with is we're going to go with 75 or should we do 80? So we should do 85 and a half foot T posts and then two rolls of that and we should be good. Well, we got everything loaded up, folks. We are on our way to actually pick up a subscriber named Kate. We've met him one time. I think we met him at a Walmart parking lot and come to find out he actually lives pretty close to me. So I sent him a DM and said, yo, we really need some help right now. You know, with me, Bonzo, and John, it's just not a lot of manpower. We need some beefcakes here. So we, I was like, hey, you, you and a buddy, you got a couple buddies, want to come down, help us put some fence together, um, I'll pay you. And because we really just need some, need some help right now. We don't have a whole lot of time, a whole lot of daylight. We've got a lot of things to do today. And essentially, I think what, like I said, what we're gonna be doing is just putting up the T-post. That's the biggest thing. We just need manpower to drive the T-post. We're gonna go try to go meet up with Caden and go pick, up, pick him up at his house. And then I believe he said he's got a buddy named Blake that's coming down as well. We'll see. With those two guys, we should be able to get this done pretty quick. You guys stay tuned. What's up? It's good. You ready to get to work? I guess. You probably built a lot more fences than we have. I feel like you're like a like a veteran at this. We've picked up the lucky helper here and your buddy's gonna meet us too. What's your buddy's name? Blake. And you gotta introduce yourself. I'm Caden. Caden. You're Caden. <laughs> yeah. And you're just uh, your subscriber and that knows how to build fence better than we do. Okay. So you're gonna help us out. <laughs> Perfect. Well, we're going back to the house. Shoo! Well, we made it back to the house. This is what we got. We've got 80. What are these six footers? Yeah. Six, six foot T-post. So we made the goat pen out of six and a half footers, which leaves like a foot 
up top, which we don't think we need. We need about six inches up top to potentially run barbed wire or hot wire or whatever it might be. We got 80 of them. And then we also have 600 feet of four, four by four, the, the goat sheep wire. But I don't think we're going to be actually putting up the wire and stretching it today because it's kind of a skilled thing and it's something that you don't want to really mess up. But what we are going to do is we're going to hammer in all 80 T-posts today. We're going to go all the way around and hammer all the T-posts and get those in the ground again before everything freezes. And then I might have, there's a, a fence company that I've talked to that they can come out and professionally stretch it and run it around. That way it looks good. And then they can put in a gate and stuff like that. But we're kind of like building half of it. We're doing honestly the hard part. We're going to take care of the hard part as far as physical the labor goes they're gonna do the part that actually takes like technique and skill so with that being said I guess uh, better we better get working here Well, that didn't take that long. We um we got it done did there, boys. Caden, Bryce, big shout out to you guys. They took off and already went home, but we are that's what we're left with. Is these, which I know this is not as far down as you really want it, is you know, this little spade thing. But the reason why is because we are like I guess I'm I'm I hire or I am trying to hire a company to come do this just because I want them to do it the correct way. And the only thing we're not positive on is how straight these need to be. Like see this is kind of turned. Do you need to turn it this way or this way? If you leave the spade out, you can kind of tweak it and then hammer it all the way through. So what we didn't want to do is make the guy who are gonna come finish this job have to redo it and there's a chance that they won't even come out here and finish it and it'll end up just being us but I'm going to at least try to get them to come out to do it that way it gets done the correct way but I mean this is a huge space it's crazy like once you just even some of that symbols putting t-posts around the whole thing puts in perspective of like how sick it's gonna be when it is all fenced in and it's still we still have that we still have that and we still have all this area here and I kind of want to clear some of that out too but this is I mean this is a giant pasture and then the plan is in the spring to run instead of making that curve there run it straight up on the hill and go across down there to give them a big pasture because there's a whole bunch of grass up there and i ain't gonna do nothing with that space so we pretty much got done did we got all the all the t-post driven you can see it's cold out certain start temps are starting to drop it's about 42 right now and uh, i think it's supposed to snow tomorrow but that's why we got these in at least you know if you have to drive it in even if the ground's a little bit frozen it's not that much further you know you should be able to do it fingers crossed that's the plan. But I'm waiting on a couple of things. One, I got to get electricity in that shop there, which the electrician's coming out in a couple days. And then I want to get another hydrant, like a spigot for from like the well put by the shop as well. So I can power wash things off. And also I have water here, which is closer to the goats and the chickens and ducks. That way I'm not hauling water across and kind of split the difference. The well's over there and then the electric pole's over there, the power pole, whatever, you guys get it. And they have to dredge. They're going to have to run lines right here. That's the main reason why we didn't actually build the fence today or do it ourselves or whatever is I'm waiting for them to come out and they have to dig a four foot deep water line all the way down there and they have to run electricity. But if we put a fence up, they wouldn't be able to do that. So I'm waiting for them to come out. They should hopefully have that done within the next week or two. Once that's done, try to get the fence guys come off. If they can't do it, we're just gonna do it our dang selves. Bounce is excited about it's life. Time. It is time. time. This is the time you guys have been waiting for. This is time that I've been waiting for. It's been one whole week. A week and a day. It's been eight days. Yeah, it's been eight days uh, since we got the peacocks. If you guys are new to the channel, I bought freaking peacocks. And uh, well, we've kept them in this cage here because where they're trying, they're supposed to know where their food and water comes. I think I've already been over there. These things look like they are ready to fly the coop. So you see, they even, they could, they fit through this. Believe it or not, they fit through this. So we had a double stack it. Actually, it's triple stack. There's three. And we put straw up on there. Easy, easy guy. Easy. Should we like open it and let them come on their own so they don't get scared? Yeah. Like they if they see quick. your face, they're just going to yeah, yeet up in the trees. You know what I mean? All right, peacock. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, they'll come out. We just, I think we just have to get away. Y'all are free. Oh God. Oh God. Dude, I'm nervous, bro. I'm nervous. I don't want them to leave, though. Like, that's just it. If they fly away, I might cry. I might shed a tear. I want them to come out on their own. If we go in there and we scare them, I'm worried that they're going to leave. I don't want them to leave. So we're going to let them come out on their own and take their time. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we yeah. got free reign out of peacocks. Don't Ooh. scare them. Bonzo, don't scare them. Okay? Okay? They ain't flying away yet. Bonzo, this is good. Oh! Oh! What are you doing? Oh, don't you chill! What's he doing? Why is he doing that? I think he's trying to roost, bro. Oh, oh, no, 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 no! 
<laughs> Ricky! Ricky! Bro! What the hell? Bro! Dude, no, they're trying to they're trying to get out. No, they're trying to roost, bro. Like that's they like perch. Oh. See? They like perching. Come on. Right. Come on. Okay, no, oh god! Bro, shit! <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I think we just need to get them out because then they'll just, they'll just chill in these trees. They'll be fine. Oh god, bro. Buddy, go out this way. Come on. Oh god! Ah, ah. Chill! Chill! Oh. Bro, these are dangerous, dude. They're dude. dumb as crap. Why don't they just go out? The goal is to get them to, like, stay in the area. We need to, like, build them a shelf or something. It's, they, they just, like, wanted to perch. Or do you think they were trying to fly away? Like, this tree would be perfect for them to perch on. Any of these trees. I and think they'll they, come back here because they have food and I think and water. they'll come back here for food and water. Like so we just gotta get them outside. I think of we this. should get them out, guys. We have to get out. This is not your perch. So this one, can we move this? Yeah, one? we can move this. Come on. There you go. There come you on. go. Okay. Yep. Let's go. Oh, go. you're almost out. Go. 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 There you go. There you go. Be free. Not stay. Bro, they're chilling. They're chilling. All right, go fly in a tree or something. Look at them. Bro, these things are sick. Dude, they look cool. They do look so cool. I just want to see them perch in a tree. Buddy, where's the other one? I only see one. He's contemplating. What's he doing? He's gonna fly. He's gonna jump. Oh, what? I thought they were both up here. How high do you think they'd climb? I don't wanna like keep, I don't wanna push them, you know? Yeah, I feel like they'd stay by each other. We need to go on the hill and look for the other one. They were on the move and they both like went, we thought they like crawled in this hole. So I waited to see if they'd come out and then one got up on a tree and I don't know where the other one is. Is that, is the one still down here? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's right here. Oh, 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 chill. It's okay, chill. We're just looking for your friend. There's no way they're gonna do it. Like the only thing about them leaving each other though, it's a, both male oh, and they're ter true. territorial. The other one, this one might've claimed it's territory here or something. I don't know how we, how do you, how does one lose a peacock? That's what I don't understand. All three of us were looking at these guys and they were in a hole and then we went up there after we saw one fly out of the hole and the other one's gone. It's not like it was a tunnel for it to like freaking fly to China or anything. We might need to get on the ATV or something. The problem is this grass is so tall when they hunker down and stuff, you can't find them. I'm sure that the peacock will come back, but for now, I think he's gone. I don't know if he's gonna come back or not. You boys see him or what? Uh -uh, no. Really? Like there's nowhere else for him to go. He literally was right here. We looked in the trees, looked in the grass. I don't know where else he could be. All right, we gotta go find this thing. Bonzo just left to go get the mini ATV. We're gonna do a quick patrol. We're thinking even if we can't find them that we'll, they'll come back tonight. So I'm not like, terribly worried about it. I just want to see like if we get up on top of the hill, if we drive around a little bit, if we can actually find them or not. Bro, we lost the other one too. Yeah, we, so we went back and we couldn't find the other one. He's not in that hole. No, now they're both gone. I say let's just, uh, I mean, I doubt, I highly doubt they cross the road up here. Oh, so do you, if you want to rip through the tall stuff, I'm going to go back down and just try to look from like a top view. Yeah. Cause if like, if you're ripping and they're like running away from you, I'll be able to see their heads. Yeah. So I'll stay up top if you want to rip through and try to find them. Well, oh God, the wind about blew me over. I'm on scouting duty right now. Bonzo's ripping through the grass. I'm my, my job is to look for something running. We're assuming like, you know, John, especially big pheasant hunter, right? Pheasants can like hunker oh, down, yeah. especially with it being cold and windy up here. I don't know if you guys can hear that wind or anything, but I'm just waiting for a head to pop up. I just want to know that they're here. Like that's the biggest thing is like, I swear we took our eyes off for two seconds. One was gone and then we went back down and got the warthog and checked again and the other one was gone. So I have no idea where any of them went. Nada. I think. Dude, I didn't see anything. I guess that's that. Again, I don't, I think they'll be all right. I mean. Right now, I think they're just trying to stay warm and like they're kind of scared of us a little bit. I again, I don't think we push them over the the ledge here, so they should be able to know that their their food and water is still down there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave them alone. We've harassed them enough. I say we should come back tomorrow. We'll we'll stay the night here and scout tomorrow. Yeah, I mean we could always put a trail camera in their food, but I say that would be like the third the third and final attempt. Like right now we did ATV. That's the first attempt. Second attempt is just wait till the morning and see if you see them. Third attempt is trail cameras by their food and water to see if they're coming back at night. I don't care. It's not that I like like they can do whatever they want. I just want them to come back for their food and water. I just don't want them to die. That's basically my point. So anyways, see you guys in the morning. Shoo! Well, it's the next day, boys. Can you, can you see my breath? It's freaking cold out here. We gotta get the freaking trapper jacket on here. But we just got down to where all the animals are, and it is time to try to find the peacocks. Now, they might be in their cage. 
maybe not. I'm just, I'm looking around. We didn't pull the UTV super close. We figured they might hunker down, so we kind of stayed back. But I'm looking in the tree. <laughs> I'm just waiting to see one perched. I'm looking in the, take a, take a gander in the tree, boys. See, they're, are they in there? Oh, they're not. <laughs> Rip, dude. Rip. They're gone. <laughs> They're gone. So I think I think this is a strat. We need to put trail camera out. Yeah. That's the strat. We got to do that. Maybe we'll do that in the next video. We got to put a trail camera out and see if they're coming back for their food or water or if they're just gonzo. They might be. I mean, I can keep an eye on their water level. I mean, that, that's exactly where it was yesterday. I can tell you that much. I didn't drink any last night, but. Oh, no. John. <laughs> Rip, dude. I like the peacocks. Bro, I... <sighs> I just figured like they would be like if they like got out and got on like a, a solid perch, Could they would that hole? they'd feel better. This is where they were hanging out until we lost them. All right, they still got food. Now they got water. Bonzo made them a nice perch. I feel like that's honestly not a bad perch. Too bad they're gone forever and they'll never. No, they're not. Easy. They're not Bonzo. They're not gone. They were locked up here for a week, man. I would escape too. But they know where their food is. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It's kind of what we were afraid of. Peacocks escaping. We know, we're not positive that they're gone. Like 99, I'm like 99% sure they're gone. And they know where their house is. The only thing I'm worried about is coyotes, to be honest. I heard them last night. They were pretty oh, close. You heard the peacocks. No, I heard, I, heard, I heard coyotes last night. So that's my only concern is that if they're hunkered down and the coyotes find them, it's going to be a bad deal. We might see a puff of feathers. But I think we're going to set up trail camera in the next video. So you guys stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace. <laughs>